When I was younger, I used to make all the girls jealous. And it's not why you think. I had a Barbie dream van. I didn't have a Barbie, though. When I was a kid, we used to have G.I. Joes, and at my age, we didn't have the little action figures. Before that, they had G.I. Joes, which were roughly the size of a Barbie. I wasn't into war and fighting and guns. I was into going on vacation, enjoying life, and I had G.I. Joe. It was not one to take the Amtrak, so I asked for a Barbie Dream fan so I could drive G.I. Joe around. That's how I rolled as a kid. I was okay with my G.I. Joe. And sometimes he wished he had a Barbie to go traveling with. He was a very lonely G.I. Joe. <laughs> the closest he had, this is true, is Wonder Woman. I don't know if it was my Wonder Woman. Probably was. I just know that G.I. Joe and Wonder Woman were going vacations in the Barbie dream van. <laughs> So my apologies to all the women out there that grew up and did not get a Barbie dream van. I'm, I am really sorry because it was fun. You could do all sorts of things with that dream van. There was plenty of room in the back because I think they had a stove in the back. So you could do a lot back there. And they had safe sex because G.I. Joe had no genitals. I don't know. How, don't understand it. But there you go. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic.